Judge, today's case, track me down. I have a beautiful, great couple here, but there's only one problem. She's doing wife duties at girlfriend prices. I'm gonna have to talk to her. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Giovanni Mendez and Brianna Graham. The two of you have been together for two years. You do not, however, want to be together anymore. Mr. Mendez, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're in divorce court today? Uh, Your Honor, we are here today because my girl Brianna thinks I'm way too overly sexually uh, with her, and she be thinking I'm just driving every woman in Los Angeles. Like, that's just not the case. She be uh, thinking I'd just be out here, you know, wild and doing my thing, just because I'm very sexual with her. Okay. Now, Ms. Graham, do you believe he's cheating on you? Um, I say it's a possibility. He thinks he has a high sex drive, but I think there's having a sex drive and then there's being a horn dog, and they're <laughs> two different things. Like, realistically, well, you... what makes him a horn dog? Well, okay. He's genuinely always in the mood. Okay. Um, I don't know anyone who's in the mood that often. Oh, I... you don't watch the book, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. You should watch the show. <laughs> I've seen some things. Well, I don't want to live with it in my household, Look. okay? Well, when you say that he's, he's that, that his sex drive is, is, is beyond normal, mm -hmm. how often does he want to have sex every day? Um, Give or take. I'd say about seven to ten times a day. Seven to ten <laughs> times a day. Do you think that's normal? It just be because I'd be too attracted to her. It's just like, come on, look at her. I just be sometimes in the mood every time I look at her. It's right, just hard to keep right, my hands to right. myself. And you're young. You're I'm 22. Young, I'm 22. I'm Latin. You know, I'm pumping it. I'm, bro you know, I'm in my prime. I'm you know, good. Like, what? I thought she would find it a little, you know, more nicer than that, but apparently no, not. No, 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 no. You know that I was in the kitchen the other day just trying to make him dinner, trying to be a good girlfriend, and I'm bending over <laughs> trying to get some cheese, and I just feel this behind me, <laughs> over and over, like, I can't get anything done if you're going to constantly initiate sex all throughout the house. What am I supposed to do? I would have said this. <laughs> Mr. Mendez, you didn't give her any kind of warning or kind of like oh, a no. warm up or no. something? I, 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 was just, I was just laying down. I got up. She was in the kitchen. She was getting something <laughs> from the fridge and she was bending over. So it was like when I peeked at the kitchen, all I saw was her <laughs> right there. So I was like, <laughs> it just, you know, it was like, let me just go behind her real quick in a very playful manner, though. You see, it was. Oh, like... boy, it didn't feel playful <laughs> at all. So I don't know what playful is to you, but. <laughs> well, That's now, what you now, now, with now, now, Mr. Mendez, do you think she's less than? I mean, seven to ten times a day, that's a lot. Is she exaggerating, or is this, is this pretty much what it is? I, I would say she's exaggerating to the no, point. Not. It just be like, during the day, there's a lot of times that it kind of just comes up, or I just feel like, you know, it just... <laughs> certain, it's just certain no things that... No pun intended, I'm guessing. <laughs> certain things... I do you do. work? No, oh, yes, I work. Constantly. That's one of the issues. She don't work. She doesn't work. She does not work. No, she's at home most of the time. At your home? At my home, yeah, our home. Too. Our home. Thank our home. <laughs> yeah. So what you doing at his house not working? <laughs> I, like I said, I am cooking, I'm cleaning, I am walking the dogs, I am doing my job. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Don't applaud don't don't that. Don't you don't should applaud that. that. <laughs> Who do you want? Don't applaud that. <laughs> This is how it starts. One day you're gonna come in here, 32 years old, three kids in, <laughs> and he won't marry you. Mm. And you're gonna say, why? why? And then he's gonna say, why would I? Mm -hmm. mm. He's got you installed in his life. You've got too much to lose because you've given up achieving and pursuing mm -hmm. to clean and care. <laughs> mm -hmm. Never do wife duties at girlfriend prices. <laughs> Okay. Uh, That's just me to you. Good advice. Do you think he is leering at or pursuing other women? Or are you, do you really feel that you're the sole object of his desire? I don't know what he's doing when I'm not around him. So I could feel one way, but he could be doing something totally different. But now, now, do you have any real reason to believe that he's doing anything inappropriate? Because so far... 
You know, horn dog, I'll give you. <laughs> but I don't see any evidence of a cheat. Do you believe that he's doing inappropriate things with other women? I do, because how do you have that much drive? And you're not around me all the time. It's constant. His sex drive is constant. So it's not just around me. There are other women all around, at his job, everywhere. So you, you're but not you just... But you have no information. You have no text, no post, oh. no... No phone calls, no drive-bys, well, nothing he adds like that. <laughs> you see, and what she don't understand is when I'm at work, most of the time, you know, I'm keeping my energy composure and all like, you know, calm. And then when I go home, that's when I leave it out. That's when I'm like, yeah, I see right, her, right. I'm like, mm -hmm. I save it for her. You need some self-control, you know, like. But, really but I mean, he can't control himself with you. That's all I got right now. I don't have anything to tag him with. And I want him for God. <laughs> That's my job. But can I at least show you so you know yeah, what I mean about me. the sex? Because I have a video of him okay, let's see that. being in public and being gross. My lady. Damn. Oh my God. Honestly? Oh my God. Do you see what I'm talking about? I don't think that's happening with just me. Do you see what I'm saying? You saw like, me open the door for her. Did you see you cut that for her? You call it's me my your lady. Job. You know, be it's not, what you're supposed respectful. to do. Mr. Mendez, you're in good shape with me. Don't you know. worry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She had my account linked to hers, and I had her account linked to my IG. But recently, she got on my phone and took her account off. Why? Because, what does he need my account for? Mm. <laughs> it's low, it's low. Hey, I'm just... The thing B also is that she has the passwords to my social media account. And As I should. What she don't understand is she be getting <laughs> upset when I change my password. But the only reason I be changing my password is because when she gets in it, she changes my password constantly. And I don't remember what Do password it is. Do you change his passwords? I changed his passwords if he changed it before. It was, we knew what it was, he changed it. So when I went in his phone, I changed it so I would know it. Well, how did you get in the phone to change it if you didn't know it? My oh, his over. social media password. I have, I have his, um, I have the thumbprint in his phone, so I can get in his phone <laughs> at any time. But his, his social, social media, media, he'll change. Now, why are you logging in and out of social media if you're not hiding? Do you follow him on your, on his social media? Yeah. No, you see, she has my, uh, we both, she had my account linked to hers, and I had her account linked to my IG. But recently, she got on my phone and took her account off. Why? Because, what does he need my account for? Mm. It's low, it's low. Hey, I'm just saying. Ooh, Miss Graham. Yes. <laughs> what you doing over there? I'm not doing anything. Did I mention she also has my location on? Wait, she's got a tracker on your phone? For the friend, on the iPhone, there's a friends thing that you can track your friends. Do they give you permission? Really? Yes, yeah. and it's not very effective. Let me tell you that. But she don't believe that because when she be, I'll be driving and I'll be at a stop and it's so that I'm at a certain location. For instance, uh, there was a time where I was driving by at a bakery, I believe, and I caught a red light, I was cool for a while, and then I left. She later on messaged me, she's like, what the hell are you doing at a bakery? Where are you, what you doing? Well, I'm okay. like, what are you no, talking about? No, no, you see, the way you paint the picture is so wrong. First of all, he said he was going to a basketball game with his friends. Now, mm -hmm. if you're going to a basketball game, why are you at a bakery that's nowhere near the basketball game? And I can see that on your GPS. So I FaceTime him and he doesn't answer. Then he takes some time and texts me that he, uh, that it was wrong. I was like, I'm looking at the GPS. And he said, oh, well, no, I'm not there. So my eyes are apparently just deceiving me now, mm -hmm. so. So what do you think occurred when you were at the bakery with, Flash without, basketball without game. authorization. Without authorization. I was just driving around. I'm look, just saying. Look, I don't think it's that bad to pass by a bakery, get a quick snack, and go. I don't think it's such a big thing to also, mention a full a thing. Like, I've been at the bakery when I just want to pick something up. So he can't, so he, let's say he going somewhere. Uh-huh. Driving down the road, he said, ah, there's a subway. <laughs> Let me go over there and have one. 
If you find out he's at Subway, mm -hmm. are you going to have a problem with it? No. I don't, I, I'm not going to have a problem with that. I just think you should let me know where you're going. <laughs> so having my tracker in and up, she wants me to physically tell you her where I'm going You should be to. alarmed. I, oh, no, you should. No, you should. I'm just glad people are here. Early singing. warning signal. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, mm -hmm. that's a whole lot of accountability that you're looking for. I mean, in this day and age, I feel like it's necessary. <laughs> People are out here just, just doing whatever. I, I want to be secure with what I have. I don't want people in my relationship let if I can. Let me say this to you. Hmm. Is she got a real business? No, no, I don't see the money anywhere. My money is my money, period. Oh, you see? So... Mm, you see how it just... <laughs> That's not even it. You'll never be secure in what you have if your social security is dependent upon somebody else. He may be the man of your dreams. He may be Mr. Forever. He may be the guy you can make it with for 40 years, but he could also get hit by a bus tomorrow. Mm. I hate it when women come in here mm -hmm. and have their game plan attached just to a dude. You should have a game plan of your own that oh, includes do. this dude. I do. But it's not about this dude. Yeah. No. Well, what's your game plan? I have a business. I just don't work for someone else, so I'm not going to So be... you're making money? Yes. A real business. Yes. You're not just goofing around. No. Is she got a real business? No, no, I don't see the money anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what business you need to talk about. I just charge my bills. Because I don't know. my money is my money, period. Ooh, you, so. see? Mm, you see how it just. <laughs> That's not even it. And it I mentioned earlier in the relationship, she had admitted to going on these dating apps to see what's out there for a cool second. Did you do that? I did, but it was because he had his own little dating app uh, time. So I thought, hey, why don't well, I join the game? You want a dating app, Mr. Mendez? Beforehand, yeah. That's how I told, oh. I told her I was on a dating app before we officially started dating. And I told right. her that once we Wrong. Cool. It might have stayed on my phone a little bit longer. But besides that, it got you know, deleted. You know, it's oh. really weird. Women are like, you know. I like you, it's January 1. So January 2, I can't have any signs that you had a previous life. Anybody that used to be attached, blah, 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 oh my God. You know, things kind of have to happen. Relationships evolve over time. Right. People drift off, it's not like, ah, January 2, midnight. Oh no. Everything goes away. Like I said, I want security, and I understand where you're coming from, but I feel like if I'm not secure with this person, if this person isn't showing me that they're here for me and just for me, then maybe I need to start seeing who else wants to be here just for me. I don't know what else a man could do. He's working. He's li you're, you're living off of his money. You keeping all your money to yourself. He's got you've got all of his passcodes. You track him on the on the Facebook. I mean, what? I mean, what does he have to do? Jump out of an airplane with a, with a shoot that says, see, I, "I really do love you." And I believe that all comes from her ex. Uh huh. Uh, he's done some stuff. I believe you know she thought to her, you know that broke her trust. That was uncool. That was yeah. uncool. And I, I understand that, you know, that's to his point. But the issue is she brings him up constantly, regard like... Do you bring him up a lot? Um, I let him know beforehand that I had trust issues and what I'd been through. So, yeah, I bring him up when I feel that he is showing the same exact behavior that I've seen in the past. A wise woman mm. speaks not of the last guy to the new guy. The thing is, look, I stand very 
tall in my truth, okay? You cannot make me feel like I am crazy for doing the things that I'm doing. I might be crazy, but not for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, it just is what it is. I need to know that you're for me. It's too many diseases out here. It's too many, go, too many things going on. And I need to know that I'm gonna be healthy, we're gonna be healthy, and we're gonna be in this together, period. Mr. Mendez, you brought her here because you said you want $700 for uh, the iPhone back because yeah. you're leaving it, but you ain't going nowhere, yeah, right. right? So what happened with the phone was she had a phone previously. Uh -huh. I accidentally went to go to the car to go get her purse, and I right. didn't know her purse was open. Her phone was just there. So when I pulled it, her phone fell, broke, it stopped working. She got upset because she's usually on her phone constantly doing stuff. So I felt bad. I was like, you know what? I'll purchase her a new phone. Right. I got her a new phone, cool. You know, I didn't have an issue with it, but then she started being stuck on the phone too much, and then she decided that it would be okay if I started paying her bill since I got the new phone for her. And I just feel like I got the phone I already. I feel like that was a... I mean, we both agreed on that one, but <laughs> whatever. Both agreed on it, but if she's going to be tracking me and do, using the phone for all this nonsense, I feel like she should be paying for it if she want to be tracking me like that. First of all. I, well, <laughs> first of all, I'm not awarding anybody any money because I know there ain't nobody leaving nobody here. <laughs> You living at his house and you just think she is the best thing since sliced bread. So I know that you two are gonna leave here together. I also think that number one, uh, uh, you're an attractive couple. Thank you. Number two, you're good people. Thank number you. three, if you were my daughter, I'd pop you in the head for, for, <laughs> for living with you. And I'm oh. with a dude and I'm married. That's just me, that, you know, that's just between you and me. Right. Uh, um, <laughs> If you were my son, I'd pop you in the head <laughs> because she's got you on a short leash. Mm, okay, right. You know what I'm saying? I get that. You see, get a little distance there, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, just. Well, be, I but mean, you, no, 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 no. There's a way to be happy in love. Oh, I and know. it's got nothing to do with GPS tracking or knowing where a dude is. Happy in love is I ain't heard from my husband in three days and it don't bother me. Mm. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's Something happy. Could be in wrong love. though. Huh? I'm just saying. Three what? days? <laughs> <laughs> three whole days. A chick is busy. She can't I have well, things to do. Hey, I guess. That to be secure is to not know where they are and not know what they're doing and really believe that he's not doing anything to hurt me. And he believes the same thing. And if you get that kind of love, then that's the kind of love that will secure you. You can only secure love from the inside out, not from the outside in. There's absolutely no way to do that. I think you're charming. Thank you. And I want you to be careful, be loving, Oh, wait. Continue to use birth control. <laughs> <laughs> and there will be no recovering this matter. It is so wonderful. <laughs>little space though the leash only goes as far as the trust goes <laughs> that's but just you think I that's feel. your own insecurities there it could be <laughs> some of my insecurities i'm working on that i mean seven to ten times a, a day my it, it might be a little too much man but i can't help it sometimes all right you guys are good luck to you too all right, <laughs> thank, thank you, you so much, so much. much. Judge, today's case, it goes down in the DM. Today, I have a couple that's getting taken down by the big, bad relationship beast, social media. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Clifford Scott and Asia McFarthing. The two of you have been together for three years, but do not wish to be together anymore. Ms. McFarthing, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're here in divorce court today? 
Your Honor, social media has ruined our relationship. He is constantly entertaining other women. And you know, that's something I deal with simply because we both do our businesses over social media. Uh -huh. So for instance, the biggest issue I've had with him so far is that he decided to go to Houston for a music video shoot, telling me that he's staying with a rapper that we both know. Come now, what does out. he do in the music video business? Is what mm -hmm. are you a rapper or are you a? Actually, I'm a filmmaker. Filmmaker, I'll make, okay. I create music videos, weddings, commercials, promo gotcha. videos, gotcha. Anything film. So, gotcha. actually, I have a video that I want you to see, so I can kind of explain to you. And you're a salesman too. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. Let her finish her story, and then we'll get to you, and we'll see the. Vi oh, well, we'll get to the video now. Look at that. So is that, is that you? Yeah. Yeah, this is her, this video I did of her, as you can see, like I have to direct them, tell them what to do, and I have to get emotion out of them. So sometimes I gotta charm and smile in their face and flirt a little bit, you know? But that's her though, right? Yeah, that's her. It's hard to make that look bad though. <laughs> She's a good looking woman. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Mrs. McFarland. <laughs> So why do you say that the social media, that's how he does his business? Why is it a problem? Well, you know, now he has dated other models in the past. Mm -hmm. And this particular story, he, like I said, he went to Houston and he decided to go and stay with an ex-girlfriend who does modeling as well. I had no idea he was staying with his ex-girlfriend. Now, all of this was constructed over social media, behind my back, and you know, in an industry like this, you have to trust each other. Right. So with that being said, I found out because I asked him to send me a picture of where he was at. I haven't heard from him. And the blanket that was in the picture was the exact same blanket that his ex uses. How did you know what kind of blanket his ex uses? Uh, I mean... I can't even tell that's a blanket. <laughs> oh, that's his, oh, is it a red blanket? No, it's that gray one right there I, you know, that has the same little horizontal lines and everything. Like, I had to zoom in, but I just know. I just but knew. But how did you know it was an ex-girlfriend's blanket, though? Well, he, once he told me he was in Houston and the fact that he wasn't picking up the phone and everything, I put two and two together and I went on her page and I scrolled uh, in her pictures and saw I the blanket. See, all, I see, I see. Mr. Scott, what, what do you have me, to say? Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell my side of the story. So. I'm a filmmaker, of course. Right. I, I, I wanted to go to Houston to try to find some more opportunities to try to shoot so some videos. So you can do you know? Airbnb? Ms. McFarland? This, let me finish talking. I wanted to go to Houston to shoot some videos, right? So I didn't tell her who I was, well, I told her who I was staying with, but I lied to her, okay? I told her I was staying with the artist I was shooting, but I ended up staying with my ex-girlfriend. I stayed with her because it was free. You know, I didn't have to pay for Airbnb. Of course it's gonna be free. With her, you can get an Airbnb. Now, did you think that was a wise move? I know it wasn't a wise move, but at this time I was going, like I was going through stuff mentally. I just wanted to get away. Like I just- You were going through things mentally. What yeah. kind of things were you going through mentally? I was just, at this time I was living at my mom's house. Like so... she was in my ear, Asia was in my ear. Let me tell like, you a I different didn't story. Do... Hold well, on, what were they out? saying while they were in your ear? Just, you need to do more, get up, do this, do that. Like just yelling for no reason. So I'm like, you know what? I'm out, bro. I gotta go to, I'm going to Houston. Like, But why can't you like read a book? <laughs> read a book, go do some exercise. That can help you I ease your mind. I wanted to shoot videos. Like that's what I love to do. I just but wanted... but, but let, let, me, let me ask you this. If your lady's telling you one thing and your wife and your mother's telling you the same thing, might it be, huh? The two women in my life who love me and know me the most mm -hmm. both think I ought to do A. Would you consider that A might be something you ought to do? Yes, but I wasn't, I didn't have the attentions to go down there with any foul play. I know I stay with my ex, but I wanted to shoot videos. Like, Judge, and it was the has... cheapest option. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> I heard you. What did I say? Did my did her or my mom like did they get to me? Like, did anything they said, did anything they say matter to me? That's not what I said. <laughs> That's his problem right there. That's why they keep talking to you because you don't understand what's being said. You're not paying attention. He feels yeah. he can do things his way. For instance, um, I'm a fun girl. I'm spontaneous. Took them out, you know, I took him out and some of his friends out to an amusement park. Mm -hmm. And 
um, he decided to say, hey, you know, I got to go help my friend and his grandma move. Of course, you know, I'm sensitive when it comes to grandmas. Mm -hmm. Like, I've, of course, go help your grandma move. Well, once again, not picking up the phone, don't know where he's at. Later, months later, he tells me, well, he doesn't tell me, some girl through Instagram decides to message me saying, hey, I think you should see this. Sends me a video of her on him at some party. First of all, it wasn't a party. It was a kickback. Those okay. are different. <laughs> and, uh, That's a very important distinction. What had happened was I just wanted to get out the house, you know, hang with my friends a little bit. But we just got out of the house and hung out with your friends. Okay, but I wanted to... So what was happening at the kickback? I want to hear about so that. So at the kickback, I'm just sitting there chilling with my friends. Next thing you know, some girl just comes start dancing on my lap and then her friend gonna have the nerve to pull her Some phone girl. out and start recording it. So at that point... He sure didn't stop her. You can't uh, even... You, you, you about to break out of the smile right now. No, you can't at, this point, wrong. at this point, like once, like, once the girl started recording me, I left. Like, I got up and left. He didn't leave until that song was over, I'll tell you that much. I left, though. Yeah. But the reason I didn't tell her where I was going is because I wouldn't have been able to go. Like, she wouldn't have let me go. Do you think she's controlling? Does she, does she try to keep you on a short leash? Well, when we argue, the first thing he likes to do is block me. Okay, he's extremely petty. So he likes to block me to where I can't see You're anything. Right. Then, hey, he on, purposely, then he okay. purposely decides to go. It's always the most hoochie people. When you argue, do you block her and then, then like all the hoochie mamas? There was a time we had got into an argument because I had liked a picture or added somebody on a social media uh, platform, and then uh, she had um, she had took she had went out of her way to hack into my account. She got in. She got into it somehow. So next thing you know, I'm uh, I'm trying to send messages and it's saying message blocking active, which means that someone went in and blocked numbers manually. So, at this point, I can't text nobody. I can't call nobody. I, I did that, yeah. Ms. McFarland, like, well, first of all, that, 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 that's uh, ingenious and technically adept, and, I, and I'm, I'm proud of you. Uh, but why did you feel the need to do that? Because he can't be honest. I'm... I would respect him more if he looked me in my face and said, yes, I'm talking to A, B, or C, and this is why. But I gotta dig deep to figure out the, the real problem. I gotta mm -hmm. dig deep to know what's going on. And the crazy part about it is one of the girls that he was texting, because I did call and ask and see myself who he was talking to, months later, I end up working with this girl. Mm -hmm. We work together now. So yeah. it's like, I can't even do day-to-day -day things because there's always a reminder of something Running into a trail to. of what he's done in the past. Exactly. Now, now, do you really believe that he's doing it? You know, social media, people like and they post and they comment and they thumbs up or whatever oh, it is yeah. they do on there. Do you think he's just doing that or do you really think he's doing things that are inappropriate? No, he's inappropriate. Give me something. Well, when we argue, the first thing he likes to do is block me. Okay, he's extremely petty. So he likes to block me to where I can't see You're anything. Right. Then, hang he on, purposely, hang on. then he okay. purposely decides to go. It's always the most hoochie people. You know what I mean? I model too. So he will go half naked pictures, like all their stuff, blow up their stuff, be in their DMs, just whatever it is to make me mad because he knows I'm watching. Every do, time. Do, do, when you argue, do you block her and then, then like all the hoochie mamas? I do sometimes, but that's only to make her mad because she has her petty things too, and I have mine. What and petty things does she do? Like, for instance, she has a playlist that she plays. A playlist, it's uh, all types of F-boy this and uh, uh -huh. F-boy that's, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, you know what they be talking about. So. Right, right, she, right. We in the car riding together and she just start uh, playing stuff, I don't want no scrub. Playing music like that, <laughs> trying to get to me. I'm like, really, that's what we gonna do? So yeah, she's petty. She's I'd definitely rather, she's do you more do that? petty. She's I'd rather more express petty. myself through music than go talk to another man. Girl. So my, my friend pulls up on some girl which had a twin sister mm. and uh, we were just chilling in the car. That's literally all we were doing. I didn't do nothing, I didn't touch nobody. But he didn't tell me where he was taking me.
M Mr. Scott, are you messing around on her? I'm not. And I'll make it seem that way because I do the things she don't want me to do, but I'm really not. Mm -hmm. Have you ever really caught him doing anything inappropriate? I mean, that it was a bad call, spending the night with the girlfriend in Houston. Bad call, no doubt about it. Shouldn't have done it. Don't know what happened when he was there. Don't know anything like that. Nothing but happened. But basically, generally, have you caught him doing something inappropriate? I've never seen him physically have like mm -hmm. a, you know, conversation or anything right in front of my face. Everything's just been through social media. Yeah, like, but like a text thread or something. Like, hey, baby, come over here, 3 a.m., that kind of thing. You ever seen anything like that? Yeah, I've seen screenshots. So this one time, um, he was gone with a friend, this lovely friend of his. He was out till about 5 a.m. I didn't, this is when we first started dating, so I wasn't, you know, tripping about anything like that. I wanted him to have time with his sure. boys. Well, months later, because I always find things out months later, he went onto my Facebook, blocked this girl on my Facebook, and I did not okay. know who she was. So I'm going through my block list. I'm like, who is this girl? So I just put two and two together. I'm like, do you know who my boyfriend is? And she was like, yeah, he blocked me from your page. We hung out on this date, which happened to be the date that he came home at 5 a.m. All right, let me tell my side, because no. she's about let to try finish. to make it sound all bad. What, this, what, what's your side? This is what happened. So. I'm just out with my friend this day. He asked me to just ride with him. So I'm in the passenger seat, seat, seat just riding. And uh Just he, riding? Yeah, just riding. That's and, a thing? Yeah. <laughs> so, Y'all just ride. So he so my my friend pulls up on some girl which had a twin sister. Mm. And uh <laughs> we were just chilling in the car. That's literally all we were doing. I didn't do nothing, I didn't touch nobody, but he didn't tell me where he was taking me. So, like, I, I, I wasn't at fault in that situation. I told him to take me so home. So you mean to tell me if you me. found out that Miss McFarthing over there was just riding with one of her girlfriends and some two twin dudes ended up in the car with him, you would not feel some sort of way about that? I would. Yeah. But <laughs> here's the thing. I told my friend to take me home. I'm like, come on, I got to go. My girl's tripping. Like, I, I got to get home. And... He didn't care. Like, he was just. So, did well, I make it up? You're a grown man, though, Mr. Scott. Well, I, know, I know. But, like, at that time, like, we, he, he was doing his own little thing, like, with the other girl. I was just sitting there listening to music. That's but they did literally it. all I was doing. Mm -hmm. He was doing his own little thing with the woman, and you were just sitting in the car listening to music. Definitely. Yeah. What not. was the other woman doing? They was outside the car. Like, talking. That's all they was doing. That's was not talking. what she told me. I don't know what she told that me, but you know so women be suspect. lying. Females be lying, especially when they jealous. Females be lying? Women. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> women. I hate that term. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just hate it. I feel like she's an attention seeker, though. What? Tell me why you feel she's an attention seeker. Well, for instance, like, it was a time we had went out to a, a, a little bar and, um... Uh, well, like, we were sitting at the table and all of a sudden she just had to keep going to the restroom. Like, she went at least five times. Well, if you're drinking, don't you got to no, use the bathroom? No, no, no. This okay. was like the span. Let her finish. This mm -hmm. was like the span of two, three hours. I'm like, why? Why does she keep going up, going to the restroom? Like, you want to be seen so bad. Like, switching and doing all that, trying to... I'm like, they see you. Like, what are you doing? Just... So you think she was making trips to the bathroom so she could present herself to the, to the audience in the room? Yes, and that's not even the only thing she does to seek attention. Well, tell me what... Well, it was one time I went in her, to her job. She, worked at, uh, she works at this club in Kansas City. And uh, one day I walked in, I see her all hee-hee and ha ha in some guy's face. Oh, here we and go. then I'm like... Okay, what's that about? My coworker. Oh, okay, well, they, they seemed a little close just to be coworkers. No, like, no, 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 they no. They was no. following each other around the whole place. They He's were, a bar back. That's what he no, does. No, look, <laughs> let me finish talking. They were, like, they seemed to work quite well together. They were <laughs> smiling in each other's faces, whispering in each other. other's ears. Now, Mr. Scott. Talking, Mr. Like, Mr. Scott. I, no. No, no, Mr. Scott. <laughs> You got a woman at work with a co-worker, and you got you in a car with a dude and two women. What the hell do you know mean? Which one of those looks suspect to you? 
Well, of course mine does, but... Yeah, I smile at each other all the time. I like smiling okay, at but... Nick. I like that Nick smiles at me. You love each other, right? Yes. Very much. Yeah. I can see. You're, you're suing her for $500 for lost wages. Let's, let, let me get to that first. Tell me why, how she lost you $500 in wages. Okay, so this is what happened. So we got this day, I had a video shoot set up. I had the film studio set up. Everything was set up. So at this time, um, we had came to an agreement. If I pay the rent, then you you take me everywhere I need to go because that's the agreement we came to because I didn't have a car at the time. Right. So we got into a little argument, probably, I think it was over a Facebook or an Instagram like no, or something. definitely not. Like, it was, a, it was something petty. He was flirting. It was something petty. So this is what happened. Um, we got into an argument. She didn't, she ended up not taking me to the video shoot until like a couple hours later. So... I missed out on $500. The artist had left. The studio had closed down. Ms. McFarthing, did you mess up his money because you were mad about a post? It wasn't a post. He was flirting with a woman that I didn't know about, sitting here texting back and forth. You fuss at him on the way to the job. Mm -hmm. You never give up a dollar <laughs> because you're upset. You fuss at him all the way there. You drop him off. You let him work. You pick him up. You fuss at him on the way home. <laughs> but you never stand in between him and some money. And money's coming into your house. Not just his house. Don't be silly. <laughs> Listen, you are two gorgeous, good-looking, ambitious, well-directed people, and I like it. Don't let your e-life take care, take over your real life. Those people on there are convenient pacifiers. Yes. Their, their booties are big <laughs> and their mouths are closed. No blocking nobody. You, should, you, you share a bed with this woman. You gonna let the world see something that the woman you share your bed with can't see? That's just deep. Don't be, you with me on that? Yes. You're gorgeous people, you could be wonderful. You know, don't let the small people Bring you to your knees. Right. You with me? I'm with you. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. All right, after speaking with Judge Lynn today, you know, we learned a little bit about your trust issues. Can we move on and kind of, you know, get past that? I think we can. I think we just need to do some cleanups with the social media and set some ground rules and we'll be fine. Judge, today's case is hot tamale. Today, I have a couple before me for whom anger has become an all-day thing. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of it and find some peace. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Edward Alago and Madeline Alago, Mr. and Mrs. Alago. The two of you have been together for 12 years. Married for one, you have a three-year-old together, and you're in trouble. Mr. Alago, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're here today? Sure, Your Honor. I'm here because this beautiful, hot-headed Latino woman is about to be real cold that night if we don't change what's going on. Uh-oh. Been together for, as you mentioned, about 12 years, and I've probably moved out about six or eight times within that 12 years. <laughs> no kidding. Yes, Your Honor. I have been through over 10 different ironing boards, and I mention it because I actually love to iron. I really love to iron. It's kind of my past thing. Before I go out, I have to be clean. I have right. to be clean. And she knows that, and she damages it every time she gets a chance. Anytime there's an argument, she goes for my ironing board. <laughs> and it's a now, Mrs. Alago, do you get mad and tear up the man's ironing board? I replace it every time it happens, but it's happened. I mean, it's out in the heat of the moment, and it's the closest thing to me, and it's always out. He never folds it, never puts it away. It's always out in the middle, so you have to walk yeah, around. Yeah, but he's ironing his own stuff. <laughs> he's not asking you. I want to. He doesn't let me. Good. 
good. That's, that's good. 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 Just put it away. If you don't put it away, this is what happens to it. Okay. And you have to replace it. Have you ever watched this show before? Yeah. You know what that's called, right? The stupid tax. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tax on stupid stuff. You keep having to pay whatever the ironing board people, I don't know who makes ironing boards. It's a vicious cycle. They yeah, set it, it up. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Tell me some of the things that have put you out of the house over the years. Uh, well, we have uh, uh, jealousy issues from when we were younger. We so have many people. We have had jealousy issues between both of us. If she sees me talking on the phone or she sees me doing something that she doesn't like, she overreacts very quickly. Um, she, since she has... Do you have a record? He... He has a record of going, of talking to women and being caught talking to women on his phone. That's why he's so worried about me creeping when I'm on my phone. Mm -hmm. Well, what kind of things does he say to those women when he's on the phone? They're romantic type of conversations. There's pictures, nude pictures sometimes. Your Honor, this is, we're talking, she holds on to things that are about uh, 10 to uh. 12 years old. Things that have happened in the past. I was a different man back then, mm -hmm. so I have made mistakes. But when someone continue, continues to tell you to leave and continue to put you down and there's no moral support, there's just always fighting, no matter what I do, it's not good enough. Give me an example of something she overreacts to and puts you out of the house or no support. Give me some story. For example, uh, sometimes she works late. Well, most nights she works late, so I try to clean up, pick up most of the time. I work at a restaurant, Your Honor. When the last customer leaves, we can't leave until they leave. I got but you. I you got can you. text somebody and let you know when they're running late. Like mm -hmm. I've Checked on her phone. Right. She won't text me, but she check, texts other people during that time. And I'm a little angry, you know. I've been mm -hmm. waiting all day. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, I'm a little agitated. He's always a little angry, Your Honor. I'm, I, I'm not the happiest person. Let's yeah. put okay. it like that. Uh, I don't have a smile from Well, that's yeah. good to know. Yeah, yeah he's self-aware. I'm ex-Air ex Force. Yeah. You know, I'm, I've, I've been in the he's military. For, mm -hmm. So instead of her being appreciative when she gets home, she's in one of her moods, starts flipping out, throwing things around, telling me how the house looks like crap. And then everything that happens, anytime we get into a was the first thing she tells me, she wants me out. Um, she's destroyed my son's playhouse. One time I moved out and I had her come over. We, every time we move out, we have our little things. She comes by, we mm -hmm. hang out a little bit. Uh, she got mad. I, I had to actually lock her out when she walked out the door. I got lucky. She went outside to smoke a she cigarette. Got lucky. I, I got lucky. <laughs> she got She went outside to smoke a cigarette and I locked her out. And she went ballistic. Started kicking the doors, kicking the windows. But he, she had already kicked you out of the house. She came she over to see you. My yeah, house. he invited yep. me to come over to see him. Right. My place. Then I find something. What's with the kicking out thing? I'd rather be alone than bad company. I mean, if you're gonna continue to promise me certain things and you don't come through, I mean... What's he not coming through on? Um, one time we went out to a birthday party and he felt like I was coming off at him disrespectful. Mind you, this is a kid's birthday party we took our kids to. After a couple beers, he felt like I came at him sideways, packed up the kids, left, and left me at the party by myself. Do you recall that incident? I do, Your Honor. What kind of sideways was it? Um, she, she has a sailor's mouth and I can too. As, as I mentioned, I'm ex-military, so I, we, we can be a little disrespectful. But she's not telling you the reason why I grabbed the kids and put them in the car and left. She was drinking and she was driving with the kids. No, I wasn't. wasn't drinking. You were drinking at the no, party, not that you exactly. drove with the That's kids. Exactly, that's because you were driving them. I took the car and I left, so there wouldn't be any issues about her drinking. Mm -hmm. For, let me give you another example, Your okay. Honor. For New Year's Eve, some of our family friends were there. Um, we went, I went outside with my brother to go smoke a cigarette with some of his friends and him. Edward the whole time is Mr. Antisocial, doesn't want to come out at all and spend no. any time with us. So he's inside our apartment. Peeks his head out at that moment when my brother goes to do the fireworks and for him, I'm out there caking and talking with these guys. He comes out, slaps a cup out of my hand, goes back inside. Everybody's like, what the hell just happened? He comes back out and starts fighting with one of the guys. Like, Fist fighting, brawling on the floor, hit banging on cars. We're having to separate them. <laughs> Your Honor, it was she embarrassing. Mr. Oh, it was so Lago, embarrassing. Did you do that? She did not inform you that prior to this, I was actually living in my own place and coming back. And she tells me that these people hit on her and try to get oh in her pants God. and all these things. So when I see her no, Your Honor, taking and he talking with these mind. guys, what do you think I'm going to think? I'm going to think that's that. So they're doing and they're trying to do that. So I don't know if she tells me these things to get me jealous and pull me away because she likes me to be away from her. I have no friends, no family. I don't All on his own, Your Honor. All on his own. Because I try to encourage friendships for him. I try to have my brother no, have a for friendship example, with him. a co-worker, we, we were sitting, we were arguing at a job, we were actually arguing at a call center. And I go and I sit away to avoid conflicts. A, a girl sits next to me. Does, I don't even know this girl in the world. She sat next to me. And 
she asked me, why is this girl mean mugging me? Why does she keep looking at me mean? Well, that's my because girlfriend. Because she knew you, going... you were my, she knew she, that you were my man. And she, and she was trying that. to take what you want on purpose because she didn't like me. See, that's why you laughing about it. I'm glad you find it funny. I don't find I'm it funny. Find I it funny. find the fact that you try to pick a fight no. and you get, make, made a big look, scene and mean, almost you got You try to make me look like the fool and I did it to you? Sorry. You said you were irritated. But I never expressed it to her. I'm not talking about expressing anything to her at all. I'm talking about you. Understand. Dealing with you. I appreciate it. And bro. you dealing with you and everybody else dealing with themselves. Well, you have an anger issue too, right? Well, Your Honor, I, when I was younger, oh, I did have Your Honor, let me tell you a issues. story. Yes. Um, well, for example, I, hmm. I, I want to give you just one more story. We, All right. I was at work. This is my third week, second week at the job, and I'm doing a sampling. Yeah. And it's all guys. And I'm a little angry because it's all guys, and I'm doing a sampling for drinks. Wait, stop her and let, I, let her know yeah, that yeah, you were yeah. asking me to do this with you the whole time. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why were you angry? Because it was all guys? Because it's an energy drink, and you know, you, you want to kind of interact with both crowds. So that made you angry? No, no, I, was, I wasn't angry towards her. I was just a little bothered, so she comes in with But two you friends. were bothered by that? Kind of, yeah. When you're doing a promotion, you want to try to touch everybody, and really the people that were there were not buying the energy drink. They weren't taking the drink. They weren't uh -huh. trying it. So I was a little agitated. I was wasting my time there. Okay, and, and then, Your Honor, the whole thing, the whole week prior to this tasting, he was like, babe, I want your help. We need you to help me set this up, you know, do this tasting with me. And I was like, yeah, baby, I got you. I got you. All week, I got you. I got you. I get there with my friends, and it's all guys, like he said, and they're all playing pool and act doing activities. And it's only it's a few women, like five women, all behind the bar. It's two girls. Eh? And, oh, see, exactly. He knew exactly how many there were. Okay, <laughs> so when I got there, it was was like he gave everybody a kiss on the cheek and I'm your wife. I'm expecting a kiss on the lips and a, a hello. He gives me one of these. You're on like, all right. The, I, 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 you're said, on. I was like, okay. I was hurt by it because I'm like, I'm your wife. You're supposed to, when I come in a room, address me like I'm your wife, just like I address you and I give you that respect and I give you your place. Your Honor, I'm working so you don't in a give me my place. business. I'm not going to go and kiss my wife on my lips. I gave her Oh, a yeah, kiss, but like it's okay for you to cake with all the bitches there, right? There was Excuse nobody else. Was okay, so. No other woman there that I was talking to. Oh, but you said there were two. So there were there not. Behind there were the two. bar, exactly. there was two. And that's who the, that was the ones he was talking so with. So she Those assumed the ones that they about. talked to me. No, Your Honor. So then we go outside and he's like, oh, um, yeah, I don't really need you. Cause I did not say it like that. I, I don't said, really need you. You, you can go with home. your friends. I'm if like, you wow. don't want to stay here and help me out, you're more than welcome. As you can see, no, no. there's a bunch of guys here and Actually, I'm not really Actually, let me rewind the good. tape. That's he had me exactly go to the store and buy some Visa gift cards as prizes. So that's what he used me for. I was his little dude, his little dude girl. He had me go buy some stuff, drop it off, and like, bye, I'll see you at home. <laughs> if you look for insult everywhere you go, you're gonna find. That's exactly what you'll yeah. find. And I'm saying it to both of you. Your Honor. And I, no, 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 Your Honor. I just want you to listen. I will. It seems to me that we work really hard these days to find a way to get insulted by things. We look really, if everything is not pristine and perfect, we get an attitude as if somehow the world is just supposed to relax and smooth out for each and every one of us, and there aren't supposed to be any issues. Amen. You both are like that. Amen. Both of you. you the, the, the meeting isn't go how you like it. That's her opinion that No, you things. told me about, you told me that about yourself. You said you were irritated. But I never expressed it to her. I'm not talking about expressing anything to her at all. I'm talking about you Understand. dealing with you. I appreciate it, And Your Honor. you dealing with you and everybody else dealing with themselves. You got to learn how to just, ah, you know, who said the world should be perfect for you? Ain't nobody perfect. It's not perfect for me. I agree, Your Honor. But I just had to throw that out there <laughs> because it's it. like, you know, he didn't give me a kiss in the pot. What are you kidding? It's not all, it's the whole, give me my place. Get, you know, you've been happy you to see, be here. And then you, you need to understand what, what you your needed. place is and be comfortable in it and not have him reinforce it all the time. My husband comes in here. I'm not giving him a kiss on the lips. I'm at work. Of course.
Well, I'm coming to work on my day off. I'm not worried. It's not my I job. I understand that, but him. he's at work. I'm trying to tell you what's worth getting excited about and what's not worth getting I mean, excited about. It's okay for him to do other unprofessional things. That's that's. But give me a kiss on the cheek. Your Honor, this I mean, is the issue with her. She. You're she holds. you're comparing one act to another of what he's done. What yep. I'm talking about is being centered and self. Have the self esteem not to have stuff like that bother you. Okay, I that's understand. what I'm but saying. Let me give you an example, okay? At my at my job at my restaurant, my restaurant participates in different things that go on in downtown. Um, every year, we have a, a what we call the Gasparilla event. I don't know if you ever heard of that. I've been in the Gasparilla exactly. parade. <laughs> so you know everybody dresses up. But Absolutely, Pirates, it's, it's the, a lot of fun. It's the coolest thing. I ever. can't do that. I, need I can't do that, Your Honor. I have to sneak in my costume, in my clothes, go to work, and hear about it because I'm working. I'm working bartending from 11 in the morning Your to Honor, 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm a Christian man. Uh -huh. And I may not be the perfect Christian man, but during that time, I started changing my life. And I asked her to, and she gave her life to the Lord, and she started doing these things. So if you're hiding stuff from your husband, you know in your heart you're not supposed to be doing it. And she knows if it was no, no issues. No, I if know there was in my no... heart that you were just controlling and that's it. She starts throwing quarters at the car next to us. She could get shot. Florida's wild, wild west. Everybody oh, yeah. got a gun out there. Yeah. So she, anytime there's a thing, she's... I was pregnant, Your Honor. I wasn't thinking. I'm not going to lie. I just let the heat. And I was like, I've you know what? I'm pregnant, pregnant twice. I never threw quarters at nobody. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you another thing that's, that he's done. Oh, okay? go right ahead. All right. So <laughs> we've had dogs in the past. And my life daily is too busy to sit there and be worried about, oh my God, I gotta take the dog out. Oh man, can somebody go take my dog out to pee? I'm tired of doing that. So one day, Ed Edward knows that. So one day Edward called me, come to my job. I got, it. I got something you gotta take home. Okay, I pull up. What does he have? A freaking dog in his arm, a puppy with a scarf. He said, take it home, it's now it's ours. So now oh, they is that the puppy? Know. There you go. What's his name? Cookie. Cookie. So now I have to deal with a dog in my house, because he said it. It doesn't matter what my input was, it was what he said and that's it. That's an important decision. Didn't you think it was important to consult with the woman that you're with about Your Honor. who lives and he in moves that out house? And I keep the dogs always. Your Honor, there's no consulting with her. With Madeline, it's either her way or the highway. And I've mentioned before her anger issues. I know I've we, we keep going back and forth, but Your Honor, it's really hard to deal with someone that for example, we got into an argument that one day and she was driving down the street. Actually, I think she was pregnant at the time. Somebody pulls off and gets in front of her. Her anger just goes, she starts throwing quarters at the car next to us. Literally takes a hand of quarter. quarters. Throwing, she's trying to fight some guy Stupid while tags. she's pregnant. She could get shot. Florida's wild, wild west. Everybody oh, yeah. got a gun out there. Yeah. So she, anytime there's I was a pregnant, thing, she's... Your Honor. I wasn't thinking. I'm not gonna lie. I just let the heat. And I was like, you I've know been what? I'm pregnant, pregnant twice. I never threw quarters at nobody. Yeah, yeah, then she did it the other too. day when she wasn't pregnant. I did pregnant. it my second stomach, not my first. <laughs> yeah. And but that, you, you know that's not an excuse. You know you I shouldn't know, have done it. I know, it. but it was just like I took it from zero to hundred. Do. You, you say that like it's something that happens to you and that you're not in control of it. Zero to 100 is not something happen that happens to you. It's something that you allow. Yeah, yeah that's it. So what, if, if there was one thing that I could wave my magic gavel and give, get her to give you to get this thing straight, what would it be? Not being disrespectful, she uh, disrespects my mother several times when she's angry. My mother passed no, away. No, I don't. Yes, I don't you do all the I time. I hold examples, that, no. but I don't talk anything bad about your mom. You see, I that's say, you know what? Thing, you Your didn't Honor. treat she your mom even... good, how can I expect for you to treat me good? Yes, she called my Am mom. Am I saying anything bad about his mom? No, I'm not. You I'm just called that... my mom aside, uh, uh, a woman you know the other day, and you she passed away. You want to talk about all that. My parents don't know how to love, so that's why I don't know how to love. You know what? Then you take it to another level, so I can't? So I can't. That, okay, then. All right. Your Honor, if it's good for you, it's good for me. I mentioned All to right? her that we, we needed therapy. If you respected your family and your wife, you wouldn't be going through none of this. Your Honor, let me tell you, we tried, we tried counseling several times. We mm -hmm. even went to our, our... He actually initiated going to our pastor and asking him to do a therapy for us. We went. Because the pa pastor had also, he was favoring into my issues. Because she wasn't being honest. He cussed out the pastor and left and left me in the, in the office. With the, <laughs> the pastor had to keep reminding him, you're the oh, man of the Lord. I said a bad word. He, and yeah. you know you what? You said I, a bad word in I the said, house of the Lord. And you know what? He cut me up. Yeah, like yeah. I said, I'm not perfect. Being a Christian does not make you perfect. And I, don't, I fall every day. I, had, I battle my demons every day. But she doesn't try to let, help me. Let, let me say this. Let me say this. You keep trying to fix the other one when you're completely broken yourself. 
And so you spend all your time looking at something you, you can't change other people. It's like if you're cool with who you are as a dude, I am. You would, no, 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 no. The Come, only reason no, I leave is she forces me I to leave. I am she... speaking. Sorry, y'all. You're so busy on your position, your position, your position, you don't have an opportunity to learn. The word can't get to you if you're always talking. Yeah. So you have to learn to listen, and you don't. You're convinced of your position. Unhappy is all get out, but you're right. You'll be right all day long in nine different houses all over the world. <laughs> but you're not right. You're just not. You're not wrong either. It's not a question of the right or wrong. You're just broken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you're a, a rule rigid person, which I think you are, this is, this is what respect looks like. This is how yeah. this should go. Right. This is this, this is that. And if anything is not right down that line, I will explode. Oh, that's so hard on you. It's not like that. Imagine yeah, it is. No, you're not. Yeah, it is. I'm really laid back here. No! Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna believe that. I'm, I'm gonna believe this. that right after you sell me the Brooklyn Bridge. Look, I, I, I want you to go to individual counseling to work on yourself. Don't say nothing negative about her while you're there. Don't say nothing negative about him while you're there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I wish you both the best. Because it's horrible being angry all the time. It sucks. It it's sucks. It's horrible. And it Ready kills your body. And, it, it, and it, it contributes to belly fat. <laughs> I just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> there will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Jocelyn obviously suggested counseling. You're open to oh, yeah. uh, seeking that as yeah. well, correct? We definitely started at one point. It just didn't work out for a little bit. So we'll try, go, try to go back. Truly believe you need anger management? I mean, possibly. Possibly. Possibly, what, yeah. I think the quarter throwing and all that. Yeah. Maybe? I mean, a little bit. A little yeah. bit. I mean, I'm Latina. We're hot headed, anyways. I'm, I'm a little nervous. Youngest of two lie. older brothers, so I mean, I've been <laughs> none but spice. Judge, today's case is crazy about you. Good looking, young, and completely undone. Let's see if they can learn. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Molly Hightower and Zay Nelson. The two of you have been together for two and a half years. Uh, you two are struggling, and Mr. Hightower, you want her to pay you $200 for a car battery and alternator that he purchased for her vehicle. We will talk about that momentarily. But first, I want to talk about your relationship and acknowledge that's your best friend, Tyler Webb, here who's going to be testifying on your behalf. Thank you for coming, Mr. Webb. I'm going to start with you, Mr. Hightower. Why don't you tell me a little <coughs> bit about your relationship and why we're here today? Well, Your Honor, my girlfriend's clinginess and her over-emotional level is just kind of getting unbearable. We've been together for two and a half years now, and this has been a situation that we've been dealing with since day one. Um, I'm just getting tired of it, and I'm pretty sure she is too. Like, for an example, we like to get lunch when I'm on my lunch break for work sometimes right. and everything like that. And everything's fine. We'll go out, we'll have lunch and everything like that. But I only get an hour, Your Honor. So sometimes when I have to go back to lunch, I mean, when I have to go back to work, that's when the issue arises. So I'm like, hey, Zay, uh, it's time for me to go back to work. And she starts, oh, no, I don't want you to go. You have to stay, da 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 da, da. I'm like, no, I have to go back to work. And then that's when her whole anxiety and all that stuff, and she starts getting unbearable and crying and doing all of this stuff while I'm just trying to go back to work. It's like anything that I tell her that she doesn't like or it doesn't work out for her, that's when she starts getting all clingy and Emotional and emotional crying. And, Everything is and, worth it. Worth yes, ma'am. And so look. When I'm like, okay, so we get into an argument and I'm going back to work, she doesn't leave. No, she goes sits in the parking garage for another three, four hours till I get off of work. And I'm just like, the average person will leave, but no, right. she wants to stay there. And then, so when I get off work, I'm ready to leave. Okay. 
So it's just, it gets unbearable. It's just weird. It's, it's, an, yeah. it's annoying. And it's, it's <laughs> Ms. Nelson, why don't you tell me your version of that event? Do you recall what he's talking about? It I happens often. That does not happen often. I've never sat there for another three to four hours in the parking garage. So you be sitting we in the already parking? have our little habits where after we get done having our lunch, I go to the rooftop, take a nap Before on the hammock. Before that, Zane, that you never, would have... You I would do have, never do you, do you cry do you, or... I don't know what he's talking about. So you don't cry and get upset when he has to go back to work? Not and It's always something, some situation that leads to that. It's well, never, well, tell me what... Give me an example of a situation feel, that led to that. Me I, having to go back to work because she has separation anxiety. I don't have, why would I have separation anxiety well, with well, you? Let, me, let her tell me. I just feel like he doesn't want me around sometimes. I feel unwanted. I feel like... I have to go back give to me work. an example. That when is you not feel only unwanted. the situation. It's like there was one time where I was hanging out with him. Yeah. We were, I was at his house for like a week. And he was like, oh, well, trying to lead on to me leaving. He was like, well, what you finna do? I was like, uh... She, you just I don't know. she was at my house for a week, Your Honor. I'll be having oh stuff to God. do. I because wanna... I, what was I there for? She helped, what me, was I she there helped for? me move. What was, I, what? what was I there for? You helped me move. No, I was helping him because his car broke down, so he needed oh, to that use situation. my car. That's so situation. it was already an understanding of why I was there. There, because exactly. you needed a ride and That's a constant what he access does. to the car. He takes situations and makes it into something else. He don't know how to let things go in the past and move forward. That, that situation that I was talking about, he was like, I'm going out. Or he was like, I'm going to a birthday party. I was like, okay, well, who are you, whose birthday is it? Because I know all your friends, you know. Who, which friend is it? Oh, it's somebody from the group chat. You don't know her. I was like, since when are these group chat people your friend? Then he automatically be like, oh, well, here you go. You starting again, all this type stuff. He makes, like, situations worse than what they are. I'm just simply asking, asking you, a question. how are these people your friends? Like, who are these oh people? Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Now, simply what do you say, Mr. Hightower? <laughs> She gave yeah, it to you herself. Dog. Even when she stays for a few days, a few weeks, all I have to do is say, I can just be like, hey, Zay, when you're going home? Then it's a whole, oh, you don't want me here, situation, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, all I'm asking you is when you're going to be here, because you've been here for five days. Sometimes I have Why stuff to do. Why do you want to be around me? It's not, it's not even about it's, that. It's not even about that. What's it about? What's it about? Why, can't, why is it such an issue when I'm saying I'm by myself, I want some time for myself? I seen you Monday, I seen you Tuesday, seen you Wednesday, seen you Thursday, <laughs> seen you Friday, <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, day. Zay, what, what you finna do? You finna go home? She's like, oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, dang, bro, like, I can't no, even... but he asked me to come there. Don't ask I me. asked you to come five days ago. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be around you because I love you. I like to be around you. It's not me being overbearing or cleaning. Even when we're together, I don't feel like we're hanging out. He's always doing other things. And I asked him, I need your help moving. Right. Um, and I had to put myself in the storage. He comes over, we're all moving, all this type stuff. He starts getting agitated because he has a birthday party to go to. Why would you plan to have a birthday party when you already said you was going to help me move? But he starts being mean to me, all this type stuff. I have texts that show, like, him being irrational and unreasonable. Well, let me see, let yeah. me see that. I got a screenshot. So did you, did you, did you get fussy and angry when, no, when the move took too is, long? If I'm helping someone move, and I'm the only per I'm t first of all, I'm coming the person. I was the only person. The person that she had helping her move wasn't doing nothing. You I knew that you were coming, so why would you okay, agree so, with it then? Why anyway, would you set so, plans when I asked you to so free listen, up your calendar? Listen, I didn't because, put it on your calendar. Because moving doesn't take, a, isn't a 10 hour job when you move in one bedroom in a downstairs. Very upset. Because You're he's very, being unreasonable. Very no, it's not, I'm, I'm, I'm saying the truth. I'm saying what's going on. If. If you ask me to move, I'm like, all right, cool, I'm gonna help you move. I don't, I don't expect moving to be a whole 10 hour job. Me doing I, everything, like, I, yo, that yo, that I know, I understand that, but listen, me doing everything, no one else helping me, then when I have to, when I'm getting upset, like, okay, you. can we kind of speed this up? Cause I have stuff I to do. I got somewhere to go. Then, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's an issue with me. Well, you knew you had to help me move that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to be doing this but for it's no not 10 minutes, for no 10 planned. hours though. I'm mm -hmm. doing all the work. You want me to do all of this? So when I'm getting upset and then it's a whole problem. You with that. didn't let me know you had something to do. I wasn't I told expecting you to it to be a whole but, 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 Ms. Nelson, can I say this? What were you mad about? Let me tell you what I was actually mad about. Stop. While you two over there co-signing each other, let me tell you why. what I was actually bad. mad about. Let Stop. me tell you what I was actually mad about. You gonna be all right? Girl. Because <laughs> he, he's, he's attacking me. I don't like that. 
Nobody's fake. attacking stuff you. He's that telling that happened, his story. Because, no, that's stuff that happened in the past. Me staying there, that's stuff we had already went through that we discussed. And you're still and upset he's, about it. No, he's bringing it up like on. it's not even... When has it happened? Recently. You're a liar. Tell me what <laughs> happened when it happened recently. I'm a musician. I tend to have shows throughout the month. I tend to have performances and things like that. And one time I had a perform... Well, when I have performances, I like to invite everybody. I invite friends from social media, here, all that, and all that thing. She thinks she knows everybody in my life, but she doesn't. So when I'm inviting friends and all these people out, she gets upset. So I had one of my friends from social media, which was a woman, she came to a show that I had. And Tyler was there, he was at the show with me and everything. Now, since so we're talking about Mr. Webb, come on up, join your, join your partner, I will... Keep, keep going. Okay. He's just walking. Well, yeah, like, so I said, um, I was having a show, and we all having a good time. As soon as she sees a female, oh, hey, Molly, I'm here for your show and all that. Attitude, her whole emotions changed. She started looking like that. Everything changed. <laughs> I tell you, we were laughing just like that. Then that what happens right there. I'm not like them. I'm not an extroverted person. I like to just chill, and I know them, so I'm comfortable with them. You have to let me know if other people are coming, so I know that I have to engage with these people. I'm just, I've already been drinking, I've well, already was been chilling. Was it a show? Yes, yeah, it was a show. show. But he what was, the, we were sitting in intimate... <laughs> we were sitting people in coming. I can't be around people. Stop, You're around stop, a performance. Stop, stop. We were sitting in an intimate setting. I didn't know other people were being invited. When he performs and other people come, it's not a problem. I'm talking but about the invited intimate... to your table exactly. is what you're saying. When someone just walks up, I, I don't care if it's male, female, whomever. I have to put my energy, okay, I gotta entertain somebody else. I'm comfortable with them. I know I don't have to do that. We could just sit and chill. I'm with you. I got, I got you. Mr. Webb, what do you see when you see them interact in, 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 in an agitated manner? What's happening? I mean, it's a very toxic situation, I will be honest. Um, Is it constant? Yes. For instance, we, we threw a, a birthday party for one of our friends at the house and just fast forwarding throughout the night, Soda's on the couch, sleep, uh, and his female cousin comes up to him. He wasn't even like, down there. Hey, she comes up to him and asks, like, hey, Soda, like, let's go get a drink, let's go party, like, you know, so on and so forth. And you can see Zay's face just kind of, like, you know, get real shut down. My cousin, Every, mind you. Everybody around it sees, because people start asking, like, yo, like, Mali, like, what's up with your girl? Like, she good? And, like, Zay Nobody storms off. That. And, you know, another time... They say I didn't even storm off. What? I was still sitting there. He wasn't well, even there. Okay, let me so explain. He wasn't let me even, he was even down, down there. there. Right what were you mad about? Let me tell you what I was actually <laughs> mad about. Stop. Why you two over there co-signing Stop. each other. Let me tell you why. What I was actually bag. mad about. Stop. Let me tell you what I was actually mad about. I had asked Molly, hey, take a drink with me. Take a shot with me. Molly declined. Very, like, vehemently. Like, he doesn't want to do it. Soon as somebody else comes and asks you to do it, oh, well, okay. But did I do it? Did I do it? Her I too. didn't decline her, too. Like, so you're not talking about that. No, Speak the facts. to me, which is my cousin. She's like, hey, come do, take a drink with me. I'm on the couch. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm chilling right now. She's like, come take a shot. Come on, get up, come party. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Here, she goes to having this attitude. So my cousin, like, like, what's, what's up with her? What's her? Of that. What? I still don't understand what that's you're saying. That's not even my problem. He, well, you tell me what the that's problem what is. The problem is a female. I ask Any you female to, that no. comes into my I life, ask you to do something and you don't do you. it with me. And you I don't do it with anybody else. You don't do it with other people. You see how she getting into the judge? See, I can't even talk. She's in her way. She's in her way. That's what I'm talking All right, about. Then I'll be in my mind. My, look, I'm telling you, I have a performance, and we have a good time. As soon as a female comes, she storms outside, has a temper tantrum outside of the store. Oh, why are you going to invite a female? Oh, you should have put yourself in her first. I'm outside, judge. Outside. So he's going to, like, he's going to listen. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Stop there. Stop. 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 I know what you're thinking. I can see it all over your face. I don't get it. I don't understand. This old lady's talking to me, and she doesn't get where, where I'm coming from. I think you get it to from. a certain extent. If either one of you is trying to convince me that you're rational, you've both failed. <laughs> no, we, we're both of you. <laughs> both of you <laughs> failed miserably. What are you still upset about? Before we were living together, we used to, he used to come over to my house and hang out all the time. And one time we was laying in my bed and I saw a photo. He was on his phone. There was a photo of him and this girl and they were in her bathroom and they didn't have a lot of clothes on. So I asked him about it. And he was like, oh, that's just my home girl or something like that. But I didn't want to cause a situation because we were hanging out 
you know, I had bought his pizza, we were chilling, all that type of stuff. So fast forward a couple months, he had asked me to move in and he had a MacBook and there was something wrong with it. And he asked me to look at it while he was out. So I saw that there was messages with that particular girl with him saying, oh, I used to be anti-relationships, but I'm not anti-relationships no more. And like, I really feel things with you. And then like, she was asking him what she was doing and all that type of stuff. And he had sent her pictures of times he was with me when he was in my bed with my pizza, all this type of stuff. And it was basically like him begging and pleading with her because later on in the messages, she stopped replying. M yeah. Mr. Hightower, can you tell me your version of that event? Yes, ma'am, I can. Please. Mind you, she told you I have a MacBook, right? Right. And she told you when she saw these pictures of these messages, it was months before we moved in with each other, right? Right. And months together. before we, no, way before we together, these messages she saw and all this stuff, this is before we are together. It was So she, she goes to my MacBook, she gets it. Old messages just don't randomly pop up. You have to search for old messages from months ago. I did not search ago. for those. Let you have to go search for old it, messages. If, this, if these messages happen when we're way before we're together, no, then we move not. in and stuff, and these messages just pop up randomly while you're on the computer. If they happened before we were like, together, oh, then why were you sending her pictures when ago, we were together? How are you going to let that her talk about That doesn't make sense. Talk? So she, she went snooping she, and went found. She, she went and, contends so. that you were sending her pictures of the two of you together, so, so that had to be current. How do you respond to that? The pictures that she was, when she was getting sent was a pizza box. No, it was it was him in my bed. I know my bed. and the. Pizza eyeball. In, in, in my pizza box. Do you I know? In my pizza box. But do you know? It was in the girl worked at Little Caesars. He's uh, lying. I took a picture of the pizza box and was just like, oh, look, some Little Caesars. <laughs> but how do they randomly pop up five months later? They don't. Well, that means you not, go snooping for it. No, you go looking for stuff. It pops up. Stuff. I so do not do for that. Do you think that old messages? No, I don't do that. I don't look for stuff. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to talk to you both. <laughs> First of all, you're far too excited about dude over here. Far too excited. You talk about the things that he does and the attention that he doesn't pay and the random people that he's around as if it's a threat to your very existence. I would get hysterical and say, I've, 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 I've had my voice like that before, but people were either in the hospital, somebody was dying, I was scared because I couldn't find my son, he was missing for a couple of days. I've been like that, but I've been like that for the right reasons. You show a level of exitation about very small things that shows cataclysmic. I want you to be more centered in yourself. He's 23. 23 year olds, God bless you, <laughs> are some silly people, especially 23 year old males. I know you don't believe me, but I saw you. Nick because saw you. You're lying. Doesn't matter. You can lie about me. I won't get excited. You can say, it. you know that Judge Lynn Tola? She does A, B, C, and D. And it could all be wrong, but I would not get like you because you can't hurt me with your lies. Can't do it. You can only fix you, you can't fix him. And if you want to be comfortable and sane, you got to be in a position where what he does doesn't bother you one way or the other. And if he's so terrible that you don't need to be with him, kick him, kick, kick him to the curb. I'm trying to hand you power. You know, I think, I, I know what you're thinking. I can see it all over your face. I don't get it. I don't understand. This old lady's talking to me and she doesn't get where, where I'm coming from. I think you get it from. to a certain extent. Oh, I get yeah. it all. Been out of here 60 because years. I don't, yeah. it's not how it was before. And I know it's yeah. better. He told me a long story. But the, what I'm responding to you was your conduct in here. Today. I just feel five like minutes ago. Again. I understand. Mm. But you see, I'm saying, what I'm saying to you is it upsets you too much. I don't like people lying on me. Oh, nobody does. Period. But, but you can't let it own you. 
That's true. That's, that's what people, that's what's wrong with everybody today. Running around shooting and killing people because they don't lost their job. They got to go kill people. They, p- people running around all excited, you know, text messaging you, you funkhead from, from politicians. Everybody's behaving like they're too. And everybody's talking, yeah, well, he did this and he did that, and who cares? You're in charge of how you feel. You're in charge of how you respond. And until you're in charge of that, the whole world will be conducting your business for you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I ain't mad. I'm just passionate. Mr. Hightower, I'm going to say the same thing to you. You got to be calm and relaxed. We got a whole society full of young people just hysterical running around. Can't have it. Won't work. Won't be anything. You know what I'm saying? You with me? Yes, ma'am. You understand what I'm telling you? Yes, ma'am. You understand what I'm telling you, Mr. Webb? He's cool over there. He ain't got no problems. <laughs> That's what you think. Yeah. I wish you the best, Ms. Nelson and Mr. Mr. Hightower. I really, really do. But until you own your own home, your own emotional home, you can't make a home with anybody else. This I know for a fact. There will be no recovering this matter. It is so ordered. Judge, today's case, stir crazy. They have argued over potato chips. He has driven the car into the house. I'm gonna talk to this young couple to see if we can get their anger issues under control. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with America Martinez and Nathaniel Cook. The two of you have been together for three years, but you've been separated for the last six months. You have one 13-month-old together. Yeah, I know, right? Ms. Uh, Martinez, you want $500 for the dents you say he put in your car when he drove it into the house. (laughs) It's my car. It's my car. No. All righty, so Ms. Uh, Ms. Martinez, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're here today? Well, we're here today because Nathaniel has a real big anger problem, and that has took a toll on our relationship for a very, very long time. And um, I've tried to work with him plenty of times with his anger, and we just him. we just can't get along. Well, our... give, me, give me some examples of the uh, of the things that he's done in anger. We were actually um, moving at the time, and we, we were taking some of the stuff out of the house and he didn't want to take the rest of the stuff. So I was like, I'm not going to do it by myself. You know, I have a man in the house. He can help me. He didn't want to do it. He was frustrated already. He was already... That's not even the case. He That's... was nagging about yeah. taking the rest of the stuff. So I told him, can you at least help me with a little bit and we can leave some of the stuff? And he was like, no, I'm not helping you. I'm not taking it. And I was like, this is the stuff that we're going to need. So he walks inside, doesn't even say a word. He walks inside, he grabs the coffee table and he throws it towards the wall. He's breaking laps. He's breaking laps. And he's saying he's paying for it, but half of the furniture in the house I paid for. What about the TV set? The TV that I paid for. You didn't pay for that TV? I paid for okay, the TV. Okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's I just paid, get the story out. I paid out. for the TV with my hardworking money, and he's, like, trying to figure out how to work it. He can't figure it out, so he throws it and breaks it. Okay. <laughs> what about the time he beat up the steering wheel? We were talking at the time, and we were talking about our relationship, uh-huh. and uh, things been rocky, very rocky, and every time we try to have a conversation, it never works out. It ends up the same way, and it's just like, I, I'm really tired of doing the same thing overs and overs again. Like, well, tell I'm... me about the bag of chips. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we were at the supermarket, and we were buying groceries, and we, we can never agree on the same foods. I like to eat healthy. He loves to eat junk food and whatever he wants, so I'm... Actually, I told him I was going to get everything. I was going to go ahead and 
mark down all the stuff that we were gonna get. So he was like, okay, I'm fine with that. But as soon as we get there, he wants to get what he wants to get. And we already agreed that I was gonna go ahead and I was gonna be the one getting the food. But he wants to get chips. He wants to get stuff that we don't need. And I'm trying to help him with, cause he wants to eat right. And I'm trying to help him with that, but so he what just doesn't agree. She wanted we some were, nasty chips. I wanted Lay's and he <laughs> wanted, no Lay's. I wanted Lay's <laughs> chips and he wanted something different. He wanted like, a devil he wanted a Doritos. Potato. But did you two actually get in an argument in the grocery store over what bag of chips yes, to buy. Yes, we did. And it was embarrassing, <laughs> and I, I didn't know what to say. I just stood there and he I went I ain't got off. no filter. I'm gonna go off anywhere okay. I'm gonna do it. I mean, I'm, we, gonna go, we gonna get into it over Lay's, we gonna get into uh, it over TV. It's like that Mr. Cook, Mr. We Cook, go. tell me why you're so angry. Well, let me, I, like, I come from a dark, dark background. I'm from Houston. Well, tell me about Houston, it. Houston, Texas, Fifth Ward. So, I mean, I grew up in the slums. Like, I'm talking about the bottom. Seven years old, I'm selling crack. Got no guardian. I'm talking about, I'm slaying, slanging rocks at seven. So I'm doing me, like, I, I'm, since I've been young by myself. Right. So seven years old, um, I had a little, like, a guardian, like, through a foster. They put me in school. Well, I went to school with a pound of weed, show and tell. At the time, I don't know what this is. I'm thinking I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, because this is all I know is the streets. So I get taken out of school. I do that. My grandma ended up getting guardianship of me. You know, rest her soul. She passed away from breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So when she got guardianship of me, but it just really ain't no structure, really ain't no foundation. Right. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm running over my grandma too, which I didn't mean to, but at the time, you were a kid. I'm doing it, but I didn't know I'm doing it. Right. Because all I know is the streets. You know, since, since I was born, that's all I know. So, I mean, I was born a crack baby. You know what I'm saying? The only reason that I didn't go through that because crack wasn't in my system. So they let me, you know, I was able to stay with my guardian and then I got taken away and I just went down that wrong path. You know, I felt alone. I ain't had nobody. What am I supposed to do? You know, so that's where all my anger come from. Cause she says she loved me so much. She says she want to be there for me, but we fighting over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. If it's that big of a deal, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's where my anger comes from. Cause like some of the stuff we get into is so. <laughs> I mean, excuse my language, it's a, yeah. but it's so miscellaneous. Work with me. Yeah, I, I know you. But it's so me. miscellaneous. Like it's, it's it's small. Well, give me some examples. What do you what do you recall? And what is her? It it. No no no. Let, Tell me what she does that, that instigates her or, or causes a problem. Like, she does that shutdown game. Okay. I call it the shutdown game because it's a game, honestly. And like, we will get into something, it could be something so small or something so big, and she'll shut down. And I'm not talking about shutting down for an hour. I'm not talking about shutting down for a day. I'm literally, I won't get no nookie for a week. I won't get a kiss, I won't get a hug. Like, I'm talking about for a week. But we got a son together, we're supposed to be, and nothing goes on for a week. I'm talking about the house will go to I mean, excuse me, I'm talking about, it's just I'm like, trying. Just, I know it's you're like, trying. come on, man, like, we're supposed to be together, we love each other, like, I I'm working, I'm trying to give you my all, like, we don't have to get into it over, over little stuff, and like, she's a big flirt. Like, I know she's gorgeous, she's drop dead gorgeous. How am I a flirt when you were the one getting caught talking to supposedly your sugar mama that how I you met you, you wanted to go back, no, listen, listen, no, you're wrong, Ms. Martinez, you tell me about the sugar mama. Okay, well, he, he leaves his phone around me, and I know that was a mistake, because he never does that. And <laughs> I was curious, because he's always on the phone. And just like how he said, we grew apart. So me, I'm thinking, like, you know what? I'm curious, I want to go through the phone, because I think I have a gut feeling something's going on. So I go through his phone, and I, I recognize the girl that he's talking to. It's an older woman, and he's, oh. um, the way I met him, was he was actually talking to her and she was taking care of him at the time. She was his sugar mama. So, but that being said, like, of course I'm gonna get angry if you're still talking to somebody knowing that she's still sending you money. What are you doing? But what like, about what time she doing? slept with another woman? What are you doing? Uh -huh. no, 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 no. He thinks I slept with somebody, but I did out of spite what he did, because I call him, I call him, I call him cheating, but I never slept with anybody. I came home with hickeys on my neck that one day, and from there we talked about it, and I was honest with him. I was open and honest with him, and he didn't like me that I told him the truth. Uh, let me tell you but I'd rather tell him the truth than lie to him like he does me. He doesn't tell me the truth. I have to find out for myself, and that's something I don't like. If we don't have honesty in our relationship, the way you got how, exactly. How Mr. are we gonna Cook, work? What did you want to say? I mean, you, we could talk about the sugar mama. You want to go there, or are we going to talk about Well, let's talk about the sugar mama. Let's talk about the sugar mama. What makes you think that he's cheating or doing something? It's just the way he is. Like, he's very controlling. Like, the way he is, he doesn't let me do anything. Explain he's... controlling to me. Okay, Give me some examples. Be... You want to go out and twirl? No, 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 no,
She's 21. Mm -hmm. My sugar woman's 61. All right? Yes. <laughs> yes, thank but you. I got on, when I got out, I, I did time. I was incarcerated for a while, most of my life, really, 17 to 23. So I'm 26 right now. Uh, when I got out of prison, um, I had a sugar mama. But long story short, my sugar mama met me in prison. I took her from her man in visitation. She started taking care of me. So, was, she, was her man in prison too? Yeah, her man was in prison too. Okay, and you, yeah, you, got, you yeah, pulled right. her doing visitation. Come here, Come here yeah. <laughs> Oh, you got game. I mean. You got game. Hey, I'm all right. I'm all right. Uh -huh. So look, so that's how that went. She started taking care of me, dropping money, activating the phone. So of course, man, I'm in prison. I ain't got nothing. I got no family. Been right. alone my whole life. I mean, the love word ain't being thrown around. It's just about money. So I get out of prison, got nothing. She buys me a Nissan Altima, buys me a phone, puts me on, drops a couple racks in my pocket. So, you know, you know, me and her meet, me and her meet on social media. Right. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be 100% honest. Man, I fell in love with her the first FaceTime, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I had uh, $52 to my name. I took the bus from Houston to San Antonio the second day, less than 48 hours knowing. Didn't, we ain't left since, we've been together three years. Like, I fell in love with her, love at first sight, dropped if my sugar. If you fell in love, then why were you still talking to people, though? That's my, that's my main thing. If you were so in love, no, look, at the time, why didn't you just, honest, why didn't you stop, why didn't you cut her off? Because that was our agreement, because I knew about her we at first. Because financially and you said you, time, and I wasn't no, her or nothing. She it doesn't matter, okay. it doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Your, your problem is that he continues to have conversations with this sugar mama. Honestly, I feel like they're not conversations. I feel like he's doing something, he's cheating or doing something because obviously he's not getting what he wants from me. What, what, no, no, what, what makes you think that he's cheating or doing something? It's just the way he is. Like, he's very controlling. Like, the way he is, he doesn't let me do anything. Explain he's... controlling to me. Okay, Give me some examples. Be... You wanna go out and twirl? No, 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 me as a person, what I, what I used to do is way different from how I am when we met. I changed my whole entire life for him. When we met, I was, in, I was an entertainer. I was doing my own thing. And then from there, I, sw I stopped doing everything. And now I'm a family person. I'm a family woman. And all I wanted to do was spend time with my family. He had a big problem with me going out with my sisters. It was my sister's birthday, and she wanted me to go out with her. So I was like, okay, well, you know what? I'm, I never go out. I hardly have fun. She like, didn't why say not? that at first. She said she was and going to her mom's him, house. Him. No, I had told him, and he was upset because he was like, oh, well, since all, it's gonna be nothing but girls, I wanna go. And I'm telling him it's only girls. Like, I never have a girl's night. I, I never get to enjoy myself. Said, Give me a and he, feel, he feels like, okay, well, if he's not there with me, I can't do anything. Well, now, Mr. Cook, what is your response to that? Because that's, that, that's not good company. That's not good company, you know? I understand but, that she has good friends. I, I am controlling, I admit I'm controlling, but because... Like, the lifestyle that I went through, I know what it means to take a loss, and I don't want her to take a loss. So I'm gonna take that loss for her beforehand. And so I try to lace her up and just show her the right way. Like, if you're going out with people that constantly get in trouble, constantly you're in like, I'm Stop. gonna be hey, let it finish, let it finish. Like, they don't, that's not good company. Now, if you had a good homegirl that I knew was about you, that wouldn't try to hit on me when you're not around, do stuff oh. like that. Like, and if I knew you had a good homegirl, then all right, baby, go have fun. Here's a couple of hundred, like, go do what you wanna do, but. You don't trust her? At all. She believes that you were cheating on her with the sugar mama or whatever, and she did something stupid with Iggy's one night. Cannot, cannot all that she's done to, for you, the other thousand days that you've been together, overshadow that one night? You love her to death. She changed her whole life for you, but you don't trust her. Is that I, where we are? Just let me, let me know. I trust her, but I mean, ever since that incident with that other woman, because how do we know it was another woman? We're just saying that here today. Mm -hmm. You know, in my heart, I Why feel like it was, in honest? my heart, Why I feel like it I wasn't another woman. Does it, does it alter your opinion at all that she came home and told you about it? I, she didn't tell me. She walked up with hickeys from here to here. No, I didn't. As soon as, oh. no, I didn't. No, I didn't. So, I mean. As soon as I got there, because we, when that happened, we were already going through a whole judge, bunch of judge, stuff Judge, can I together. tell you how I am? No, you're gonna let hang me on, speak. Hang on, just, just go ahead. Well, speak then. But we had been, we had been going through a rocky relationship at the time, and he thought it was okay for him to do whatever he wanted. And that, I'm not gonna take that. As me doing everything that I'm doing to take care of him, to help him, I got I'm you. not gonna be disrespected not one bit. Yeah. So I'm not gonna sit here, and I'm not gonna let him. I'm not gonna let him take advantage of me or think like I'm his personal pet or he can do whatever he wants because it doesn't happen. That's not gonna happen. When you don't listen to me, what happens? 
Nothing happens. I'm a grown woman. I know right from wrong. Come on, Mr. Lady. Cook. Are you happy about being controlling, or is it something you'd like to stop? It's not even like that. Let me let me explain this to okay. you. Okay. I love her to death. Like I'll do anything for her. Right now, at the drop of dime. Even though we're here today, my thing is, is like, I don't. I'm not really too worried about the hickeys. I'm not too worried. That, like even if you did get, <laughs> which is a big thing in my mind, like because that's that. You know. You, you keep saying it. So because, I like, that's, a big that's, deal. That's, that's a big thing to me. Right. I that's get a you. big thing to me. I get you. Uh, we're talking about one night, Mr. Cook. We're talking about she believes that you were cheating on her with the sugar mama or whatever, and she did something stupid with Hickey's one night. Can, cannot all that she's done to, for you, the other thousand days that you've been together, overshadow that one night? That's about you being brave. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can stay on being insecure about that one night and be frightened, but that means that you're weak. Because you're so afraid that something like that might happen again, you can't even trust her anymore. You can't even love her anymore. You can't enjoy your life again. I guess I'm being naive then, I guess, but... What I'm saying to you is this, Mr. Cook. I think you're a good guy that had a horrible start. A good guy that has a horrible start. I believe you love the living daylights out of this woman. I, I do. I believe, the, the I believe all of that. But all I'm saying is don't mess up the best thing that you've ever gotten over one day. You see what I'm saying? Over one day. You know, be brave enough. Well, if it goes back there again, you go. You a grown dude. You a man. You can step forward if she's cheat. If she's not trustworthy, but she isn't cheating, and she is trustworthy. Let's get that one 24 hours. Let's pluck it up and just and and, and kick it over the fence I, and let it go. I understand because it's a gift. If we can do that though, if we can kick that over the fence, then why can't we kick the sugar mama situation over the fence? I'm gonna help you with that. Exactly. I'm gonna help you with that. When you love somebody mm -hmm. who's got a big neck taken out of them because of what they were, their upbringing, you have to be uber cool. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he's jumping a lot of hurdles. He hasn't had an opportunity to learn how to love and to socialize and to communicate the way the rest of us do. He didn't have any script to read off of, so he's making it up as he goes along. And what you have to do is you have to realize this is the cat I picked. Mm -hmm. A guy with no script, a guy with no understanding of how it's supposed to go. So you can't go toe-to-toe <laughs> -to -toe with him with his anger. You have to come across as uber calm. You can't get the TV working? Well, I'm not quite sure what's happening. And you let him mess with it? Because it's, it's a TV. No, <laughs> it's a TV. And Ms. Martinez, you have trouble keeping your mouth closed. And I think the less you say, the more he'll hear. We understand. The, the, the calmer you speak, the more Funny. he'll talk, the, the more, the calmer he'll be. You can be the emotional guidepost in your relationship to, should you choose to do so. And that's your gig because you've had experience. He has not. That's all I want to say about all of that. You don't want $500, do you? I mean, not really, but I do pay for the car. And no. I am, I am, Who's that is gonna come out my the pocket. The car's still in my and name. I'm, it's still my car. But I took, I took over you ownership. You're gonna pay for that dent, right, Yo, <laughs> Mr. Cook? That's the first thing you're gonna do as an, as, as say, hey, I'm a new man from today forward. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you, and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna let you leave, my love. See, but the whole thing is, the whole, I mean, we ain't even talked about the car, how it, that happened. That, all these plays. But you into drove into the house. Oh, yeah, I drove it into the house. Because the Over house is mine. Small, and the car is mine. What did I tell it. you about that mine thing? I know. I, what did I tell you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Did you at hear the me? I'm talking about at the time that was my mind frame. But I'm telling you, your mind frame is different now. Of course. Right? <laughs> so so you're going to pay for that $500, we're gonna pay, right? We're going to pay for $500. Me. <laughs> Mr. Cook, I like you. Thank you. When I saw your paperwork, I wrote stupid tax all up and down it. <laughs> and the stupid tax is what you pay when you get angry, you get upset, and you tear something up. But I think you're paying the tax on behalf of a society that let you down. And I apologize for that. Thank you. And I hope that you take this opportunity to take this wonderful woman here and let her lead you into the light and love. And you do so calmly and caring. 
you understand something, Mr. Cook? I hope a, nothing but better days come for you from here on forward. Thank I you really, so much. really do. Five hundred dollars in favor of Mrs. Martinez. <laughs> this matter is adjourned. <laughs>